a meme which the guys are using and it's called the book of misogyny and it's got like future's head on top of a priest's body oh. Oh. and it's and it says the book of misogyny and then on it there'll be like a caption the caption would be like oh if you if you cheat on her and you feel bad she's the one <laughs> you seen it it's actually bad breed like Standards are low. I'm not involved. Oh, Should I talk about open relationship? I don't want to hear oh, it. Apparently I was in one, but I just didn't know. I asked him where was my man then. I got silence. Mm. I can't laugh about it now. Like I said, cheat all you like, but I can get mine. All exactly. Day. And yeah. All races. Don't get and, twisted. And girl. Yeah, I know. We'll talk about that another time. Mm -hmm. No. I need to chop to my plantain crisp. Plantain. Get out. <laughs> Cancel it. Okay. So I like my disclaimers. You're going to hear me using that a lot. My disclaimer for today. Did you roll your eyes? Yes, I did. Indeed. If you can't handle the realness. Leave the room. Remove yourself. Because you know what? I know I'm not the only one, but I feel like my generation, we got the opportunity to speak more. As, you know, time progresses, each generation not only has the opportunity to learn new things or be aware of more things, but also is able to talk more. And I believe that if some of us had had this kind of transparency when we were growing up, we wouldn't have done half the things we did. Of course. Um, I'm quite blunt. I'm diplomatic. Like, I know how to handle myself in every given situation. But I am straight to the point. I have a mother who's very straight to the point. Very harsh with us. But it means that we are very robust human beings and you might wonder like why am I not getting to you because facts because of that and also it, it has enabled me to handle the truth the people criticize me and say things about me which I'm so used to I actually look at it and go okay well is there any truth in that and I analyze myself I analyze the point so it's worked for me. I know it doesn't work for everybody. But I just feel that having candid conversations would actually help to extinguish. Wow. I know a big word, word, you know. Any? To extinguish a lot of stereotypes and... Oh no, don't do that again. Dysfunction. If we're just real about it. So if you don't like the fact that we're a bit ragga, raggles, rags and that, get just get out. Put yourself in the bin. The world's about to end, as um, Kendrick Lamar said in his song, I don't give a sh. <clears throat> Try to work on my swearing. If there's a heaven, I'm going. <laughs> what the freak? Anyway. And if they don't get me in the boot off the door and say, oh, what the, do you need to let me in? Me's the life for the party. And then I'll sit I in the corner quietly and be dry for the rest of the evening. <laughs> <laughs> Just be like, yeah, I got in. Anyway, enough chatting crap. So the talk today is this. Do we respect ourselves? See how I knew that was coming, the big dramatic pause. It's got to be dramatic. <laughs> There's not much time left apparently. So we might as well say what we need to say. When we started to talk about it, it led us into a conversation concerning relationships. My voice feels like it's vibrating through my chair. Yeah, what's going on? 
My mother has a deep voice. When people call her, they say, hello, mister. <laughs> Nah, stop. And my voice is getting deeper like my mom's. Anyway, 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 anyway. No. Did you feel it? Ah! I'm a singer as well. I can reach very high notes and I can go very low. I felt that one. Did you feel it? I felt that one. God is within me. No. So, um. Can we just stop the foolishness right now? Tough people last. <laughs> you know what? It's always good to start with yourself. It's very, all very well asking a question and not addressing yourself within this, the scenario. So I'll start with myself. And no. I spent a lot of my life not respecting myself. And in some aspects, I didn't know I wasn't respecting myself. Does that make sense? Yeah. I didn't really know kind of was obvious but I believe that most of us don't realize that we're part of our own problem no. think about it initially you just like think it's the other person but you're enabling that person to do those things to you so really you're both the problem and I'm not going to say like you know because you know abuse I do know about abuse personally that are you asked for it in all of that talk because I don't think that's correct fair, yeah. and I don't think that's fair and a lot of the time people that abuse others you don't the person being abused didn't expect that person to abuse them mm -hmm. they never saw it coming sometimes the people that abuse you are the people that are supposed to protect you so let's just clear that thing up there um, but, as I, I was saying, continue to say, to say it's conditioning. Mm -hmm. Conditioning is the reason why we do what we do. We end up in the relationships we end up in. Because it's normal, we see it all the time. It's and what yeah. you see. It's learnt behaviour. consistent, and that's all you know. And you think is the correct way to live. But really, you're just being um, exposed to the wrong type of behaviour. Mm you know like me being hurt like hurt to that point where you like can't catch your breath hurt mm -hmm. is always been the catalyst of change for me or for awareness or you know mm -hmm. that catalyst of going oh my gosh I'm messed up mm -hmm. but I, I, I do believe that it's my duty with your generation my you know my children it's my duty, and I'm um, nieces, nephews, and stuff. It's our duty to tell the next generation the, pit, the pitfalls which we didn't get to make. Mm -hmm. A lot of the um, choices I've made is because I just didn't know what I was doing. Mm. My own um, sex talk was come into my room, me and your dad want to talk to you. And then it was, What is this? It's a sanitary towel. Oh, you know that? Oh I, I, just, I just know what it is. Don't sit on boys' laps. Now leave the room. Did we have one? No, because we've always spoken. We just speak. Yeah. I made a pact with myself at age 17. In fact, I think it was younger, but again, never to forget, especially when I first ran away from home, never to forget what I felt like within those moments. Yeah. Never forget what it felt like to be that age. Because I think, not I think, I know that a lot of our, our parents or that generation and the generation before pretend that they haven't gone through anything. They pretend. Sweep it under the car. No, pretend. Listen, if Adam and Eve, the so-called so first people, were caught sinning, why are you acting like you're holier than Adam <laughs> and Eve? Can you just shut up? Sorry. Just get in the beam. <laughs> you know, but that's what a lot of our parents or grandparents and aunts and uncles pretend like they didn't make mistakes and things didn't happen fornicate just fornicating all the time just lying you're just lying and in doing and that young ages as well yeah and so therefore we kind of we walk step out into the world you know i was a naive church girl as much as i'm smart 
I was still I still had to learn on my feet. Mm. I had to learn very quickly how to navigate through life and different people and you know because I wasn't taught it. That's all down to like religion though, isn't it? That was a big aspect in my life because I had lived and breathed and slept religion. Um being like the pastors the pastors, the bishops family. Because you have to co keep up a certain kind of appearance. You've got to set an example, but you don't even know how to do that. You don't even know what you're doing. You can just about handle your own thoughts. And the thing is, the thoughts that we have, if you to, to voice them to someone, then you, be, you you get judged. Yeah. No one talks about it with you. It's just like, well, there's something wrong with you. Oh, oh, oh let's lay hands. Lord Jesus, the devil, devil is in our... <laughs> I cannot. Yeah, but it's true, right? It's true. So therefore, you, I feel like when you've broken that kind of setting, for me, you hide and you suppress. Your fears. You suppress a lot of things. And I'm, I, I, honestly, when you do get out in the real world, you go crazy. Because it's freedom. Skinning out and acting like a skit. <laughs> I did that, I did that, yeah. Because, partly because I just didn't know what I was doing. Partly because you, you are, I was like excluded. You're now like not banished. part of the fault. Yeah, you banish. So you go, well, what should I do then? Initially, you do nothing. You get blamed for doing things you're not actually doing. And then you just think, forget it, I might as well do it. Which, you know, you were teenagers and teenagers don't think straight. Mm. No guidance, there's no guidance. Guys these days, they're not really not really serious it gets to a point where now they even had molly yesterday or whatever day it was just saying like oh i don't want a boyfriend because oh, yeah. they're so gross like i don't like boys not that she likes girls but just the behavior that men have not even men boys have nowadays is just it's repulsive it just makes you want to be alone and it's kind of sad but like, you try and well, for me, I try to put myself out there, I guess. And I just, like, I'm trying to connect with people. But I feel like nowadays you can't connect with even females. Like, you can't connect with people on a soulful level because everyone's just quite superficial or, I don't know. Pretending. Pretending. And the thing is, I don't want to, like, lower my standards to, like, keep a conversation with someone that just doesn't understand me or can't have like intellectual conversations like i joke a lot and a lot of people think oh she just she just a laugh she just laughs all the time blah 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 blah. but it would be nice to have serious conversations with people um, and it's just boring like they don't have anything else to talk about okay so if i do hop into this conversation with you and i tell you do you know what i can say blah 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 but if i like delve into this conversation and say okay but what else like do you want something more like what's going on do you, do you aspire to something else or is that just all you're on right now have nothing to say okay well um i don't know how to conversate with you anymore because you don't want to just sleep with me no you know what this is the this, for no. me i feel like the crux of the dysfunction across the whole board is that bond between man and woman and that understanding is, is broken. And a, a lot of things that have been um, put on what the relationship of a man and a woman is supposed to be have been set there centuries ago in religion yeah. or by whoever was in power. And I remember a couple... Months ago, my woman, the singer, Fantasia. Fantasia, making a statement about she submitted to her husband and he, and all the women should learn how to be at something along those lines. Look it up for yourself. Anyway, there was a big thing about it. I, I, only, I only watched when her husband came to with the clap back, back, if we could call it clarification of what he meant. Um, but it, it, also in, in my, you know, default religion, Christianity. There were some good things about it. 
the Russell and go through this and now going through a lot of things and getting to this point in my life I do think you shouldn't sleep with anyone before marriage if I if I had the choice to go back yeah I would have not slept with quite a few people I think once, I you, waited. once you have an understanding but it's like it's one of those ones if you don't do it then you don't realize yeah life is about making mistakes but Anyway, going back to the point about sub submission, I feel that these men in power centuries ago and now used religion to, to make women a dildo, hmm. a, a male version of what they need as a dildo, or a like, like with just a condom, and then you take us off and you throw us in the, the bin. I'm being honest, you know, submission um, in Fantasia's husband's terms was more about, listen, it doesn't mean that I oppress her and she has no choices. She, she fully speaks her mind. And then women have things like intuition that mm -hmm. men don't seem to have, like, oh, that girl's hitting on you. No, she's not. She's all right. She just, she's just a friend. friend. We, have, we sense things. We see things. We have certain aspects of a woman that men don't have. And because we're silenced, that women, women should be silent in the church and we don't have, the, 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 we're too emotional yeah. to make decisions. But we love to say that. Which is well, nonsense because we have been given the, um, the gift of carrying life. Without us, all life is stagnant. You have the seeds, but we bring forth the life. We, we it develops and it grows and it multiplies, and we have have to be in control of not only our emotions but the emotions of somebody else mm -hmm. growing inside us. And then we have to nurture. We have to keep alert. In some um, in some cultures, the men stay with the children, mm. and the women go out and hunt. I understand like the man should be the head and the woman and the, the balance. It's more it's about balance. balance. It's not about who's like... On got, top. Yeah, who's on top, who's got the most power, who's doing more. It should really be a balance. Like, you know how a lot of guys will be like, oh, the woman, she needs to know how to cook, clean, blah, blah, blah. blah. There's nothing wrong with that. And it should, it kind of is essential for mm -hmm. people to know how to cook. But when you're just saying like, oh, only females, because that's their job, I just don't feel like that's fair it should be a balance really guys should be able to pull their weight and it should always be the woman like looking after the children and the men either going to work or disappearing because oh that's not that's not my responsibility although the you came from your ball bags anyway yeah we don't have any children until you put them in. exactly you're the ones carrying the kids not us it's not that you know they're they they all single the, the fathers well, there your your biological so. father raised him by himself. Yeah. So not nothing's in, you know like a hard set rule, but I do believe that certain certain aspects of um, the roles we've been given are being abused. Yeah. The being abused and that 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 you know even like when it comes to like our men talk about oh it's not natural for us to be um, monogamous. Monogamous. Listen, I've watched porn. Let's just be real. I've watched porn. If anybody shouldn't be monogamous or was built not to be, it's a woman. And I should tell you why. I've watched porn. That's not even... <laughs> I've watched porn. Don't watch it anymore because it messes with your brain. Look that up, right? Um, and I've watched it enough to see man line up for one woman. Lord God. And there's flapping really in the wind, trying to keep it away, doing all kind of things. <laughs> you know what I mean? And she's taking Dead. one, two, three, four, five, and how much man? I didn't watch the whole thing. I just saw them lined up. Them things kind of make me. That's heat. disgusting. No, that makes me heat. It's, it's, the, the, <clears throat> I've got my reasons. Get out. But the point is, she's made to to have to laugh. Sex, 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 sex. So this talk about yeah, yeah, you know, and God gave us, you know. So you're telling me we have a God that created women for you to, to abuse and defile and violate? So Basic, that, that's all we were born for. God said, you need, a, you need a help, mate, so you could help yourself with her and rag her around. It's disgusting. Is that, is that what, the, what I was no. born for? I don't feel like people are really checking themselves. And then on top of it, all right, 
from my experience, I'm a woman who's very in tune with herself. I'm very in tune. Mm. Um, I've got that master key that I play. And for a woman, I know there's women out there that are quite happy to share a man, not no. me. And I'll tell you no, why. And, and, and once again, I wonder if that's got something to do with conditioning. And I understand, in, like, there was an African guy, um, literally a few weeks ago, who's been locked up recently. I have to find the video or the link and put it down below. He had 80-something wives. Bye. And they're all, um, they're all asking for him to be released from prison because he says he looks after all of them. They're all happy about it. 